province was feeling the effects of the global recession. People were facing hardships and uncertainty. They worried about losing their jobs, losing security, and many losing hope for a better future. More and more people rely on government to take action. But it wasn't enough to just stop the downward slide. We had to position Ontario for success for the long run. It wasn't enough to keep doing business as usual. Our plan had to help Ontarians recover for a sustainable future for tomorrow. And all the while, maintaining essential services, especially during those difficult times. We had to transition the economy away from an old world of smokestacks to a new world of green and clean, from manual assembly lines to advanced manufacturing and high-tech factory floors, from paper to tablets, and create jobs. So we committed to investing in our people, and invest in what matters most to them, healthcare, education, and social programs they needed, as well as stimulating growth by making historic investments. And when Lakeview's four sisters were torn down, it wasn't enough to simply replace coal with another fossil fuel emitter, like a gas emission. That would have been easy and a short-term solution, but that would have left the real potential of this site untapped. Instead, we all dug deeper. People and businesses took an active part in a new vision, a shared vision, in a new lakefront that's clean and green and dynamic. But it is that same mindset that we're, at least I see throughout the province. Protecting the land is a pivotal step in securing the long term future of our waterfront and the entire province, just as Ontario now pivots to a brighter future. I think we're all kind of here about is the stress test for mortgaging coming next year. I think I understand the intent of it, I just don't understand the logistics. How do we accomplish the task of reducing affordability? for buyers by making it more difficult for them to get mortgages? Yeah, it's a great question, especially when you combine that with some of the measures that we've already taken, although some of them were about uh, the, uh, the elimination for the support for first-time home buyers. It helps a little bit. But the other stress tests that have been brought forward, and it's not just these recent ones, other ones being beforehand. Um, certainly the Governor of Canada is also providing some concern for the rising rates. Uh, I, as a banker, and I was in the banking area for over 20 years, uh, do have concerns about the degree of leverage because there is high consumer debt. In, in the last number of years, of course, uh, the asset valuations have offset some of that stress over that period of time. Uh, but if we do take into account the possibility of a rate hike, people should at least be aware of the risks that they take. Um, but I'm sensitive, certainly, to the affordability issue and the valuations thereof, right? Because right now, part of the the escalation of these pri property prices has been the ease of the people that they would get into it. Um, but I am, um, and this is what OFSI is doing, right? This is what the federal government's been proposing. Uh, I, I think it's important though, and I have three kids of my own who are all young and determining when they're gonna start the starter home. I don't even know what a starter home is anymore. Um, so it's, it's, they, they, uh, it's a concern. But I'm also concerned about the high level of consumer debt in Canada and in the province of Ontario. For high level, and if rates do take a dramatic spin, that will be detrimental in that regard too. So I think it's everyone just being a little bit cautious and taking uh, precaution. But we can't overstep. Listen, for me, and even when I brought forward those 16 measures for uh, a real estate reform, it was more psychological than anything else, right? It was, it was an attempt to temper the market, but I wasn't trying to impose restrictions on the ability of people to afford things. Um, market forces will prevail, and they have. And they have in Vancouver, who, uh, who were early to start on some of these measures. Um, but I, I think it's important for us to watch the degree of leverage that exists. I don't want to see government overstep, though, because market forces should be the driving force. I was there, and many of you were too, in the late 90s when the market did take that and I was nervous, as many of you have been, over the ability or the possibility of a hard landing. So the measures we've taken have smoothed and have provided some stability in the marketplace, which I think is important too. But with the stress test primarily not impacting foreign buyers, who largely don't get their financing from the federal banks anyways, 
and it also impacting people even with one-year mortgages. Is it really going to impact the market that much? It'll, it'll, it'll impact. Are these the right buyers? Yeah. Well, in, in the end, what we're trying to do, as you put it, we're trying not to crowd out young families who are trying to get into the marketplace. Um, we also want those young families in a position where they're overextended. Uh, I hear you, and uh, I think that balance has to be achieved in an effective way, as not to crowd them. Thank <laughs> you.